Okay guys, Comaldo Crypto here and here we have Bitcoin again. Uh, what a short we have here guys. How to make sense of this whole mess here. It's indeed difficult but this is what we are trying to figure out together, right? 292 days correcting. Okay, I'm gonna propose a different analysis today. I'm gonna use some of my indicators. And let's see if we can find some confluence, more data, and give us more information about this movement, right? Because this is what I see. I see this trend line here, this trend line here, yellow, and this is my, my um, Elliott wave count, okay? Let's see the TD sequential. We don't. If you don't, if you guys don't use TD sequential, I really recommend you guys to do it. It's a quite a, basically. It counts. If you don't know about it, it's it it counts into uh, the number of uh, um, the number of either uh, upside or downside movement until nine and then it establish up a resistance or a support so this is this was a really lame explanation but sorry if you want you can find more a better information about it in the internet but let me see if, if i can show you guys here you see one two it it counts the amount of uh, established uh, downtrend and until nine and then it's you see here one one here again because it we, we had a, a, a upwards movement here and we have a one two three four five six seven eight nine then we establish up this 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 support here you see the red lines here right because we had a reaction and this is the to this equation if you don't use it it's a an outstanding to to establish uh resistance in this case and support okay i use it and it's really nice to see that we are now within this within those levels right within this is the 7100 and this one is the the classical 6100 okay and uh, we are now counting one two three four we don't know if you're gonna have a five, six, seven, eight, nine establishing a new low. I am considering that yes, we are gonna establish a new low. Let me just turn these numbers off, okay? I don't like to have them all the time. So if this is right, if we are if we are if we have a one, two, and then we're gonna have a three here, so yes, we're gonna we need to break this resistance here this red line this red this the td sequential has uh, has created this line here together we have this trend line here so it's a lot of a, it's a confluence isn't it it's a nice confluence and um let's see what else we have if we this is my all in one um this is my all in one indicator and we are below the 21 EMA here, okay? Below the 21 EMA, we had a cross here, a bearish cross. Here we have the 100 and the 200 EMA. And here we have the Ishimoku cloud that indicates a resistance, right? If, how does it work? If we, if we, if we close the day above the, this Ishimoku cloud, which would be confluent with this 100 EMA, we would likely go up and test the upper boundary of this cloud, this part here. That would be, surprise, surprise, 7100. So another piece of information that is confluent with everything that we have been saying here. If we're going up, we're gonna test this trend line again. That's obvious, okay? We have here the TD sequential, we have the Ishimoku cloud, and we have here the Dokian channel and Bullinger band. Okay. 
we are in the middle of the bullish band, by the way. And this indicates indecision, and uh, we haven't touched since this was 4th September. Okay, we haven't touched the upper upper band, but we have touched two times the 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 bottom band, right? We have touched it and we had a reaction. So we are in the middle and the 21 EMA has offered a kind of a good resistance. We are now uh, we we tried yesterday, right? We had something that someone might call a, a, a bump. It's not a bump, not a significant uh, volume whatsoever. And uh, we try to get to the 55 EMA rejection. So I don't know, but this gives, give, gives me uh, more confidence that this is going down, okay? Again, if we break, be, if we break above 6,700, we break and we stay here above and we stay here in the Ishimoku cloud, and we we challenge the 100 EMA. Of course, we are gonna have a bullish momentum here to test this to this sequential here in the 200 EMA. Okay, that's what we have. And let's see, I have uh, alternatives here. Okay, uh, I, I would like to present this alternative. That's actually a very good one. This one supports this idea that we are going up again. Where we have here 7100, it's confluent with, with, with what we have here with the TD sequential and the 200 EMA. Okay, it's not a coincidence. This the C one, the C wave here, the 100% extension here is the A, B. If we consider this is a B, okay, we would have 100% here at the. I would, of course, I would stretch it a little bit, perhaps touching the 7200. Here is the sweet spot for a wave C, 127, 20%. If this is a wave two and it's not finished, okay? Here I'm considering that it's finished, but we might just touch it here, okay? That's it. We don't know, guys, we don't know. We are trying to figure out what's going on. We are, the, the, the Bitcoin is, is kind of um, not moving at all. Look at this kind of pattern that we have here. It's the, 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 the bullish band, the token channel is, is starting to squeeze. And so, as I have been saying, it, something must happen. Okay, a, a big move. Um, okay, sorry. Uh, this is a account that I have proposed and it makes a lot of sense. This has been originally proposed by one of our members, Meta Vinci, that we had an ABCDE kind of a correction inside of this B wave. It makes a lot of sense. Okay, we would have finished the first wave here <clears throat> and we would be testing this 50 resistance here, once here, then B touched again, it would have B here. Then D would need to go and try to perhaps test the 50% again. We would have a throw off here. It's okay to have a, a throw off here testing, perhaps a one week trying to break the 50%. And remember, we might have a breakout out of D wave. So we might have the end of, uh, of this sideways correction here. And it would have the wave C. Okay, we don't know. It's there is no way. Of course, if we start um, um, going up, and we break it, and we have volume here again. This is six seven hundred, and we close the daily above it. Okay, that would be the Ishimoku cloud here. It's let me check again. Sorry, oopsie. Yes, if we close above it, like here, and we have a good volume, and we challenge this token channel here, we challenge the 100 MA. Yes, we might have a momentum to challenge this TD sequential uh, resistance here, and perhaps 
touch the 200 EMA here, okay? We have those targets here. We have those targets. This is this is the 7200. This is a viable target. It's a likely target for our wave C here if this is what's happening, okay? If this is what's happening, if we are going up, at least for this moment, okay? Um, yes, we. It's either going up to make this D to to continue the sideways correction, or it's going down. Okay, there is no other option because why I'm saying that because we are below the EMAs, we don't have so much uh, uh, support down here. We don't have guys. We don't have unless we. If we draw a trend line here, okay, we have this trend line here. Okay, we have this support here that has been formed since, I don't know, September. Yes, since the beginning of September. It's a, it's a contender, yeah. This, by the way, this trend line here is the same one that I'm using for the, the triangle. So, uh, and we have the TD sequential, but it's down below here, the, the, the classical 6100 that Bitcoin has tried to break over and over, okay? So, that's what we have, guys. We need to pay attention to those levels. Indeed, what we have is that is Bitcoin is squishing here, and if we close above it, above six, as a guideline, guys, Pay attention. Don't pay attention at those little moves. When Bitcoins move to seven, six, seven hundred, it's time for you guys to start taking action. Don't don't start taking action now. Or if it breaks this trend line here, this trend yellow line here, this one that I just draw, it's probably a good time to short it and let's see if it can face this support here and we have this blue line here this trend line this is a old trend line so a lot of indecision i know a lot i'm not providing a, an answer i'm i'm providing you guys more questions than anything but that's what we do okay we try to figure out together remember that if someone is giving you answers hmm don't trust this guy, this person, for a lot of time because answers, <laughs> all the time answers, they come with a price, okay? Um, yes, and that's, that's it. I think that this is a viable option, guys. I would be looking for this correction, this sideways correction. This uh, Bitcoin might just be wanting to wait for it and we would have this this again this D here and this E would be waiting and then suddenly would have a huge movement so for this weekend for this weekend and for the next week perhaps we will be seeing this thing again we would be seeing this sideways movement okay uh, thanks for watching guys and if you like it give me a thumbs up and subscribe and as always uh if you haven't followed me yet please consider doing so this is my my twitter and if you haven't joined us in our server discord please consider doing so we have plenty of information there everything is free and we would be glad to see you guys there okay thank you very much have a wonderful day guys cheers